I wanted to love motorcycle camping. I really did. getting ready for my very first motorcycle camping trip hopefully everything is secure enough there's a lot of gear to carry on the bike and I am not used to that but I do not have far to go <laughs> Bugs. That's what I get. seems to handle pretty well with all that gear on the back I'm not having too much too many struggles with it it is uncomfortable the backpack is pushing against my back I wouldn't want to do that for anything too long and I can probably deal with it it would just be nice to have something that seemed a little more secure and comfortable are wet. I've never done that before either. Somewhere in here is the entrance to the campground. I assume there will be a sign. Pretty sure this is it. is it's really wet in here Hi. Yes. All right. Park your motorcycle back here somewhere and then come in the front door. We'll get you All right. There. Thank you. Um, are you in a tent? Yes. Okay, perfect. Just hang that underneath your uh, picnic table. All right. I am all checked in. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Look at how many people are camping. This place is full this week. That's why I had to switch spots part way through. There's the number six, seven, eight. <laughs> That's one of the fun things about motorcycles, kids like to wave.
I just had my first night of motorcycle camping, and I will say it's just like regular camping. The only thing is I'm staying in a campground, and I don't normally do that. I like to camp in the wilderness away from people, and campgrounds are full of people. Things I learned from camping in the campground. You think that being close to a, the bathroom seems convenient, but that bathroom is lit up like the sun all night long. It was so bright. And the other thing I learned is that the birds wake up at 5.30. And that'd be fine except for the part where most of the people in the campgrounds are up until about midnight. Towards the campground now. Not sure how far I have to go. Maybe a mile. There's no one out at the beach down here. Amazing. The color of the water is just amazing today. It's so beautiful. Made it back to my campsite. Hike ended up being 5.01 miles, so another five mile hike for me. Uh, and this, it's really hot. It's still, it's not even lunchtime yet. It's so hot and very humid, a bit warm for hiking. But this is the really nice part about staying in a campground. There are showers. I can go take a shower and get cleaned up. So that is one plus for a campground over camping in the wilderness. But I'm only in this spot for one night. I will change to a different spot after this because this campground was full, so I couldn't get a spot for three nights. So I had this spot for one and another spot for two nights in a row. So I'll be moving over there probably in a few hours. This is day three of my motorcycle camping trip, my first motorcycle camping trip. And if you remember, I got a motorcycle because I really wanted to try motorcycle camping. So now I have spent two nights, three days in this campground. I've got another night left, I'm done tomorrow. And what I found is, it's okay. 
I had all the right gear. I'm okay with that. I'm not happy with how the gear sits on the bike. Uh, I knocked the bike over yesterday trying to put the bag on top because I had to switch campsites so I didn't get the same campsite for all the nights. And uh, so when I swung the bag up, I hit the bike and knocked it over. Um, the bag is really heavy that goes on there. I wanted to love motorcycle camping. I really did. If you've watched my last couple of videos, you know uh, the whole reason I got a motorcycle is because I thought motorcycle camping looked amazing. I did not love it on this trip. I, I think there's still hope. I think a lot of what I didn't love has to do with this specific trip. So I'm gonna talk about some of those things and what I will do differently in the future. Uh, first thing, this is a state park campground on a holiday weekend. It is insanely busy. It's, it's a little better today. A lot of people went home yesterday, so there are some empty sites around me. It was wall-to-wall -wall people. Um, I, it was so noisy and crowded and busy. I normally go for more of a wilderness experience. I'm a backpacker. I go out into the woods with a pack on my back with everything I need, hike for miles, set up camp. The next morning, take down camp and then head back into the woods and hike more. I love to do that, I love the wilderness aspect, I love to be out in the woods alone. This was crowded and busy, not at all what I'm used to. Second thing is, this is really close to my house. It's about 10 miles away, which means I can duck home anytime I want. Um, it also means that all the things to do around here are things I do all the time. Plus it being a holiday weekend, it's very crowded, it's a busy place. I would rather be somewhere a little farther out there. Um, I didn't really have any activities to do while I was here. I did hike for one day and it was a beautiful hike. But other than that, I've just been in the campground. Not really my thing. I would rather be out doing something. I like the idea of moving on every day like I do when I'm backpacking. So if I had a motorcycle trip where I camped overnight, that would be amazing. I would love that. Uh, but to sit here with nothing to do for me is boring. Uh, yeah, I took the bike out a couple times. I mean, I even ran home. It was so close. So, I mean, I like the idea of it. I like to be out in nature. I like riding the bike to get here. I think there's still potential for motorcycle camping. I think I could like it better than I did for this trip. I need to get somewhere I like better, a little farther away. A uh, better system to put my things up, a little more privacy would be nice to give myself something to do that's new and different so I have things to go do every day, whether it's somewhere I can ride the bike, somewhere I can hike, something along those lines. Um, you know, overall this has been fine, it's just been, as I said, boring. I guess what I don't like is camping, I'd rather be in the wilderness, I don't like camping in a campground. I have another motorcycle camping trip that's farther out at a it's still a campground but a rustic campground i think it's still going to be fairly busy but not exactly sure what to expect it's somewhere i've never been and it's going to take me over an hour to get there so that will be different i'm going to have to figure out some things with the gear as far as how to get it on my bike safely for a longer trip and i've never gone that far on a motorcycle before so that will be new for me too i've got two or three weeks until that so I'll see how that goes and if I if I enjoy that more we'll see what happens. That wraps up my first motorcycle camping trip. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more motorcycle videos, camping videos, and other adventures. Thanks for watching.